guys, I'm back again with another video. This week, we're going to be checking out my slime farm. Yes, the slime farm that I've been working hard on in my Let's Play series is finally complete. And it took just over a month, yeah, probably just over a month to complete. Quite a few weekends were tipped into building uh, this slime farm. And in this video, I'm going to be pretty much giving you a, a tour around everything to show you how everything works. We're going to start from top and go all the way down the bottom. Anyway, let's dive into it, shall we? So, we're actually standing in the slime farm lobby. This is just a lobby. This is pretty much a giant decoration piece. Now, when I when I when I when I was building the slime farm, I wanted to do something different because I've built quite a few slime farms in the past and I, I I felt like I had to do something completely different, you know, out of the box. You know, so I decided to go with a wood themed slime farm. So obviously we're standing in the lobby, which is wood themed. It's like a giant wood mansion almost. It's very breezy. As you can see, there is no actual doors or really windows. Like, you know, it's all open. We've got plenty of glass roofing to let lots of natural light in. It's really, it's it's not really what I would do, but um, I, I thought I would try something different and it really did work. Um... So anyway, so th this is just the lobby that we're standing in, and it, it is very pretty, to be honest. I quite like it. It's eh, Some people might not like it, but I like it. I think all the hard work I put into this lobby, it really turned out quite nice. So anyway, if we look down, you can see the actual slime farm itself. So as I said, I, I tried with the, that wood-themed up through the center here and up the top as you can see as i said i won't try to go for that wood theme but yeah as you can see there is a giant hole below us right now a very giant hole with a lot of glass you know letting all that natural light in like i was saying so the the hole itself the to digging out digging all that out actually took me six hours with a beacon going in the middle of a live stream so i actually dug that in a live stream if you want to literally watch me dig it all out you can it's on youtube i'll leave a link in the description below so you can literally watch me dig it all out if you like and actually the entire structure has been built in my let's play series so i'll leave a link in the description for where i started building it so you can literally you know go from start to finish building this project it was quite cool so go check that out if you like so anyway yeah so the hole did take six hours to do with a beacon with efficiency fire picks quite a few of them actually but it got done now the reason why you, you're going to comment on the walls the walls are not wood for one reason i did not know i was going for a wood themed until i pretty much done the walls so what actually I done done is when when I when I was digging out the 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 the, the chunks here themselves, um, I had a silk touch pick. So obviously I turned the the all the stone I got back from the from for digging it out into stone bricks, and that's what I used for the walls. But if I knew in advance I was gonna build a giant wood structure like this, I would have used wood to blend it in nicely. So that's why the the walls are all that. I'm not gonna tear it down. I think that's just way too much work. And as you can see, there is four spawning pads. There are four slime chunks beneath us right now, pretty much surrounding the center here, which which was which was quite interesting. So if you don't know what a slime chunk is, you I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to the wiki page so you can read about slime chunks and pretty much what the what they are, pretty much. So pretty much a slime chunk is where slime spawn under block 40. All right, that's pretty much it. They will spawn in pretty much any light level, light, low, doesn't matter. But yeah, that, that's pretty, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go read a little bit more if you don't know anything about slime chunks or how to find them. So anyway, so let's go down there. I want to show you guys. I want to um, let's go. Let's go down. I want to show you the storage system and the loader system and all sorts of stuff. So, uh, um, in the middle here, as you can see, spiral staircase going down. You can just see that down there is the storage system. So let's go down now. I don't really like spiral staircases, but this is sort of the only thing that was going to fit perfectly in here. And my subscribers will know why. And I don't really want to mention it, but yeah. And quite, it blends in quite nicely, this spiral staircase, and it goes down to this. Now, this here is the actual... Oh, I hear a big slime. So, this here is the actual the, the storage itself. This actually goes all the way down to near bedrock. So, if we keep going, let's just keep... Let's run all the way down here. Let's go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going. It's just spiral that goes all the way down. I'm not going to lots of slimes. Look at that. Check that out. Right up the top. Giant storage system so you can get plenty of slimes in here. Check that out. Plenty of slime balls. And if we go if we go down here, I'll take you to the slime reducer. 
So this here is the slime reducer. Very simple slime reducer. I'm just using cactuses to reduce the slimes. Now before I continue, I must state that this spot where we're standing is not the right spot to be standing for this slime farm to work. You're meant to actually be standing right on the top in the lobby. That is the optimal spot to stand for maximum slimes to spawn. So we're too close to the spawning pads pretty much, right? And as we speak right now, we're way too close. They shouldn't actually be spawning. It's as you complete, it's completely stopped now because we're just too close. So I just wanted to stress that before you guys point something out like, oh, they're not spawning there. It's like, yeah, they we're not in the right spot. So as you can see, cac I've used cactuses to reduce the slimes. Very simple and you don't need lava blades or any complex systems to reduce them. So what actually happens is just say a big slime will come down, hit the cactus and reduce into medium slimes and the medium slimes will reduce into small slimes. The small slimes will die by the cactus because the water is forcing them into the cactus. Now, if you guys can see, ouch, if you guys can see in, the, in between here, there's hoppers actually between the cactus. What actually that does is that will suck up the slime balls before, before the cactus even gets a chance to, to, to destroy them. So as soon as that slime dies, it's gone. The, the, pretty much you don't even see the loot. That's how quick it is. It's just gone in a flash. So those poor old cactuses don't even get any any chance to destroy them, which is fantastic. So because a lot of people's like, oh, won't you get all the loss? You know, is there hundreds of loss? No, 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 no. I, I I don't think there is any loss. To be honest with you, it is really works really really well. I like it better than the the lava blade slime reducers. Like in the old days, you would use slime. Oh, we got a slime. We got a big slime coming in now. Not meant to be working, but it's working. Let's check this out. So, it, well, we, we got multiple big slimes coming out here. So he's getting reduced. It's sorry about the noise, guys. So he's getting reduced into the smaller ones, the medium ones, I should say. So now he's got reduced into into the to the baby ones, and the baby ones got killed, and the hoppers suck it off. Wow, it's actually working, even though it's not meant to be where we're standing. But hey, that's fine by me. So anyway, after obviously after. Where do the slime balls go? How do they get back up the top? That's probably what you're asking next. Guys, be quiet. I'm trying to I'm trying to do the slimes are not gonna be quiet, are they? <laughs> They're just gonna continue dying. So you're probably asking, where do the how do the slime balls get from down here? Up there. So let's go downstairs. So the hopper goes round and it goes down here and it goes into this loading system. And as you can see, it's a minecart loading system. We got 17 slime out of those couple of big ones we just had, which is good. And if we wait, we might be able to see this live on camera. There we go. Perfect timing. We have a hopper with a chest picking those items up now. See, he's sucking it up. Once it gets to 17, it will take back off by itself without me touching a thing. There you go. Off it goes. How good is that? So no need for complex, well, not really complex, but no need for laggy item elevators. You know, so simple. I believe in these these minecart loaders and unloaders fantastic so what actually happens is the slime balls will come in here turning on this compare rate of powering this block which turns off this torch here you see which turns off the redstone turning off the track allowing the items to pass straight through into the the, the minecart and then obviously when all these items have gone um yep it's back again so once all those items are gone uh, the, the comparator will turn off and launching it again. See? Look how good that is! And that will go up the top in the storage. Wow, the slime farm's actually working right now. Crikey. Hello. How awesome is that? So, really, we're not even standing in the optimal spot. Right now, we're not... This... Yeah, the farm's... We're too close to the spawning pads. I don't know why it's actually working. I apologise about that really loud noise, but... Um, we're not going to see, but as you can see, look, it's filling up really quickly. Look, boom, 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 boom. It's working really well. Really, really well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as, as I was saying, it's, it's very simple. I just, I like this. I like this loader and unloader, which loads all this. Look at that, 25 in that trip. Fantastic. Good stuff. Okay, so, I love this unloader loader. It's I, I think it's much less laggier than an item elevator. It, it's just crystal smooth. No lag, no clocks, no nothing. So, and I love this slime reducer, re cactus slime reducer, I think it's fantastic, very simple, very easy to build, you know, you can build this in a, you don't have to build this round like I've done, but it all sort of meets in the middle, so it's sort of perfect for what I need, 
Here comes another one. Crikey, let's get out of here. These guys are getting really loud. So that's very simple. Now you want to see the unloader. So you've seen the loader. Let's climb all the way back up here. Get away from all those slimes dying because they're, they're probably poor old things are getting eaten. So let's go up here. Well, yeah, here we go. So here is the unloading system. Same principle. The, the, the minecart will come up. And if any items drop down into this hopper here, any items actually dropping down into this hopper, it turns a compare red on, turning off the torch, depowering the rail so the rail's no longer powered and the, the cart stops. And obviously, ev when everything comes, when, it, when, when all this stuff comes out of the hopper, there's not, the compare rater will stop being powered, turning the redstone torch off, and just watching that cart. Hopefully, we get to see the cart unload. Come on, cart. The cart's probably loading up. Yep, here it comes now. See if it... See if it lo there you go. It's unloading as we speak. There we go. Pant a good, good timing, cart. And off it goes. So that's fully automatic. You don't have to touch a single thing. Once it's going, it's going for good. That is it. So, and that, as you can see, just travels all the way down this giant... This giant storage system here. It's just pretty much a hopper, chest, hopper, chest, hopper, chest, hopper, chest double chest too going all the way down eventually this thing will be full but i tried to i pretty much i had limited space obviously up the middle here and i i pretty i'm, I'm pretty impressed where what i fit into this small space so uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with this this design here i think it's very nice so another thing i want to point out is i tried i don't know if you can see this guys i tried to hide the tracks from up up above because when you're looking down down into the farm itself it kind of looks dodgy, you know, having the tracks going there. So I tried to hide it, which you, I'm pretty sure you guys didn't see it before. But yeah, I tried to hide it as best as possible without affecting the spawning pads. Because this this top pad here is not actually a spawning pad. This is above block 40. Slimes will not spawn on that pad. So it's actually half slabbed, as you can see. It's half slabbed. And that pad there is actually the last pad. That pad is the block 39, I think. Block yeah, it's block 39 that pad is at, and this is just the roof, the glowstone to light the pad. That's all it is with with a nice roof on top of that. So yeah, that's pretty much how it all works. It's very simple, very easy. You just, uh, for optimal speed, you would stand right here in the middle, and you would AFK where I'm sp where I'm standing right now and that what that will do is as you can see we got we got slime it's constantly working right now it's fantastic so it, it is constantly working I'm quite impressed um, um so yeah no no it, it is really it works really really well but uh, as I said optimal standing distance will probably be right here to maybe just down there I haven't really done much testing like I've done a little bit of testing and it seems to where I'm standing now this is the perfect spot for for the bigs and the smalls and all the slimes to spawn and once it starts to warm up oh she will get going so okay so yeah that's pretty much the tour it's quite quite quite, quite a short tour i know but there's not much to it as i said it's very simple it's it just takes a long time because of how big the actual structure is at the end of the day it is quite big and yeah bulky and it took quite a long time to build like you know as i said quite a few weekends quite a lot of hours tipped into this build so i hope you guys like it i really do the world download if you want to download and come play with this yourself sure it'll download will be in the description now an additional note to my subscribers that watched me build this this slime farm as look at that see she's starting to warm up now look at all of them look we got giant ones coming off the sides and holy smokes yeah see that's what i mean this is the perfect spot to stand if you want it to really start to work you know go for it but yeah you got a ton of slime balls, no problem. Okay, so an additional note, as I was saying, to the subscribers, like the people that watch me build it, uh, um, it's very airy. What I mean by very airy, it's very, it's very open. You know, we got no glass up there, we got no doors. Now, the, obviously, there's four entrances to this this lobby, slime farm lobby. So what I've gone and done is just fenced it off because we don't want nasties breaking in here while you're trying to AFK. I've checked the light levels of the room and everywhere it seems to be perfect. We you can't can't have any spawns in here. So as you can see, I've blocked off every single way here. Um, so nasties can't wander on the wander in. The only way you can get in is by the boat dock. So there is no actual walkways to get here you've got to pull up in the boat dock and that's pretty much how you've got to get here to yeah as you see i've tried to hide that track it sort of blends in sort of 
Um, see, it's working. It's working real well. I'm, I'm really happy. The amount of time that I've tipped into this build, oh, I'm very, very, very happy. So if you, if you like this, uh, if you like this fi slime farm, go check out some of my other builds. We've got, look, you can see them in the distance. I'll, I'll try to link, leave some links in the description. So go check them out too. All right, guys, thanks for watching this showcase video on my slime farm. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as I said, link in the description. All everything you need to know is in the description. I'll leave links to everything. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Oh,